Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Hope you're having a fantastic day. We heard yesterday about the Galaxy Fold Special Edition gonna get S Pen support. We talked about that yesterday, but we also heard that there was gonna be no digitizer inside of the display of the Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition, whereas when the Galaxy Z Fold 6, that has it, S24 Ultra has it as well. Well, how are they actually doing this? Because it's kind of an interesting, and I guess, I guess somewhat new technology, at least on the phone side. This coming from Ross Young saying, no digitizer to reduce thickness and cost. So they have come up with another way to make the S Pen work. And again, he's talking about the Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition. And just to throw a little context in here, Sam Mobile put out uh, an article and they kind of define it really well, saying that the devices like the S24 Ultra and Z Fold 6 offer an S Pen support through an active stylus method and a digitizer embedded in the screen. In layman's terms, this means that the S Pen has its own power source and there's a more complex connection happening between the tip of the stylus and the screen. This combination enables more advanced features. And really, when you think about this, this device is just, I think, what we've been expecting and wanting in a foldable phone and some of the things that we've wanted carried over and improved, this phone theoretically has it. Again, it has that S24 Ultra camera. We've been wanting an Ultra camera experience on there. It has S Pen support and the way it's getting the S Pen support is Again, a, a somewhat seemingly new technology that Samsung is using. It could be something carried over from, from their fan edition tablets, but regardless, it still has some kind of S Pen usage on the display. It does have the bigger displays as well, and it's thinner and lighter, eight inches and 6.5 on the outside. And then you're talking about eight gen three processor in there from Snapdragon, which is kind of weird because reportedly the eight gen four launches in November. And I'm kind of surprised they wouldn't just wait until November and be like, here you go. You have the best, the best, the best, the best. That's that's one of the, the weird points about this. 16 gigs of RAM, a ton of storage, probably 512, one terabyte of storage. There's a lot in this phone that is a good slap in the face at this point. I was hoping and, and, and seemingly, it didn't seem like it would be a slap in the face, but let's be honest, it's a slap in the face. It's rewarding two countries, South Korea, which is obviously where Samsung's from, and China, and China more so, because China's getting the, 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 the most of this device, and saying, hey, America, Europe, wherever else, you guys can have more or less the same phone for the last five years. It's kind of a slap in the face, let's be honest about it. Z Fold 6 is still, I'll stick to my guns, is an awesome phone, really good. The best of the bunch that they've ever released. But when this phone comes out, there's a, you can't, it'd be hard pressed to say this phone doesn't blow it away in almost every single way. Or it equals or kills it. You gotta say that, it's gonna be. And uh, I don't know, definitely a slap in the face. What do you guys think? See you guys down the road. Peace.